today, the reversed built-in function in Python 3. Let's start with a look at the docs. Reverse takes one argument, a sequence, which will be a list or a string or a tuple, and it returns a reverse iterator. And I'll show you what that looks like in this video. So let's start with the basics. Here I have a simple for loop. It increments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we wanted to reverse this, um, how would we do that? We could use the reversed function, wrap that around our list, and when we run this, it's going to increment 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in reverse order. So what's happening behind the scenes? Let's take a look. So let's say we took that same list. So we'll call it my list equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we wrap reverse around this in the terminal, you're going to get a different output. You're going to get this object here. And the reason for that is that we're returning a reverse iterator. We're not returning uh, the list reversed itself. If you wanted to do that, you're going to have to wrap the list function around it, and you can return like so. Another one you can do, I don't know if this is string specific, but you can use join. Yeah. Well, if I had a string, like... Uh, if instead of my list, I used hey, when we return that, we're going to return yeah. So if you're using strings, uh, you can use the join syntax, um, or you can use a list as well, I believe. So if on our hey, if I use list here, we're going to get it, but returning as a list. I think it's also worth noting that reversed will return a different object based on what you pass it. So for strings, we get a reversed object. Uh, for lists, we get this list reverse iterator object. And for tuples, we get um, something else as well. We get a reversed object. So same as the string. So I don't really know what the difference is in practice here between the list reverse iterator object and the reversed object. But just keep in mind that uh, there is a difference here, just something to be aware of. And if you wanted to check out the type, you can see that reversed has its own class. So we have class reversed here. It's, a, it's its own distinct thing.